Hatch Embroidery's red work tool can make quick work of turning objects into an efficiently running design. I'm Lindy Goodall and in this video I'll demonstrate the red work tool. Manually digitizing a complex red work design so that it sews efficiently is time consuming. For best result you want to eliminate unnecessary jumps and trims and you want the same number of passes on every part of the design. Imagine tracing over this flower design with a pencil so that every line had exactly two passes. How long do you think it would take you? How many times do you think you'd start over? You can tell a red work design by this icon on the object sequence docker. Notice that the entire design is contained in this object. I'll break it apart. So we'll select it. We'll go to the Edit Objects toolbox and I'll choose Break Apart. And when I do that, Notice that it now has the icon of a branched object. So I'll need to select again and break apart one more time. And now we can see all the objects in this design and we can see that they are a single run. If I select the design, Control A, and then press T to take it out of true view, can you see all these little dashed lines and all these little triangles? The dashed lines indicate connectors. The triangles indicate trims. Now I don't think I'd want to sew this design. It's not very efficient. And that's what the red work tool does for us. So while I have it selected, I'll click on the red work tool. And now I need to tell it where to start. And I like to pick some place in the middle kind of where it won't be real obvious. I'll pick there. And now look, we just have that one trim going from the last object to the center. Red work starts and ends at the same place. Now notice on the icon shows an indicator that this is a single run. But what if we want parts to be some other stitch type? We'll break apart again. Suppose that I want to make this part a different stitch. So let's select that. And I'll change it to back stitch. Control A. Red work. And if I just hit enter at this point, Hatch will choose where to start. Now I don't have any stitch type here because I have a mixed stitch type. Red work designs must be composed of outline stitches. And notice that we don't have the sculpture run in here or motifs. Now it makes sense that red work would be only a line type of stitches, but you aren't limited to using the same type. So I just showed you how you can mix them. So you might be wondering, why do we need a red work tool when we have branching? Well, the main advantage of the red work tool is that it maintains the same number of passes on every segment, especially if you're using a run stitch. If you have one pass on one object and three passes on another, it's going to be obvious. With this one, the first pass is always going to be a run, and the second pass will be whatever stitch type you've chosen. Branching, on the other hand, can have more passes as it travels through the design. So there might be some areas with one pass and some with three. The advantages of branching are that you can combine more stitch types so you can have filled objects and open objects. And you can also select the start and end point. Here we only select one start point and it ends at the same place. So I think you can see how the red work tool can really speed the creation of efficiently running red work designs.